Shari here today and I am going to be making this birthday garden pop-up box card. So my grandmother is turning 94 this week so I thought it would be really fun to make her a cool pop-up box card to send her in the mail. So I'm using the Really Rainbow stripes here. I'm using a 12 by 12 sheet so that the inside can have a color as well. And I'm also going to be using the little flowers dies to make my garden. So first thing I'm going to do, I've got a 12 by 12 sheet here and I'm just going to trim it down so that I can run this through my die cut machine and cut out the two box pieces that I need. And of course this fits in an A2 size envelope. So I'm going to cut this at four and a half. And then I will have enough width to cut two of these pieces from. And I'll just put the rest aside and use that on another project. So I'm going to cut one out and I'm going to snug it up to the edge as much as I can so that I can cut the other one out in the exact same direction. I've also used some strips of the green perfectly plaid spring paper to cut out those inserts you see there on the left and I cut four of them out. So I'm doing a little box assembly here. I'm not going to assemble it the whole way but I'm folding along those score lines and I'm just going to put some double sided tape along the tabs of the box. Then I'll just go in with my scissors and trim off the excess pieces so that it's just the tab is covered. I'm going to be putting these two pieces together but only on one side for right now and we'll assemble the rest of the box here in a little bit. So I'm using my grid mat to sort of line it up and make sure the two pieces are straight. And you can see here part of the reason I cut those two pieces going the same direction on that piece of paper is so that my stripes kind of matched up. If I'd flipped it around um, a different direction the stripes would go from a yellow to a blue very um, abruptly and now it looks a little more natural even though they're not perfect. So I folded the tabs in on those little green pieces and I'm just going to put my double sided tape like I did on the box. I used the dies that cut out panels that go on the flaps and I used the same stripe in the petite paper pack as the large 12 by 12 so it kind of matches. I've also cut out a variety of colors of flowers and stems with the little flower set and I've put those aside. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. I cut out way more than I will use. Now I'm just going to add these panels to the flaps and I'm just centering them up in there. Now one of my panels is actually cut in the opposite direction you'll see here um, and I didn't actually realize I did this because I was using a scrap piece of paper from the paper pad. So you can see the stripe goes in the opposite direction but it actually is fine because these aren't right next to each other and I'm going to use that and make that my front panel. So it'll be covered up with the little sentiment banner. So I'm using these sentiment banners, using this one right here, and I'm going to be stamping that on some Nina Solar White cardstock. And guava ink. My grandmother's favorite color is pink, so I'm trying to include pink when I have to make a decision about the colors. And then I'm going to be using the Happy and the Birthday from this Year 2 stamp set. This is actually one of my favorite fonts in the little birthday sets, I think because it's nice and bold. And I'm going to be stamping that in some bubblegum ink. So still pink, but just a slightly different shade. And I'll use the coordinating die to cut that one out. I'm just going to hold it in place with a little bit of post-it note tape. And I'll just run that through my die cut machine. So here's my little happy birthday banner and I'm going to be putting that on that stripe piece that goes the wrong way and it won't be quite as obvious that it's going the wrong direction. Now before I put my box together I want to put my little pieces inside and I am going to use all four of these. Usually I stick with three but I decided to use all four to make it look really full. So I am just peeling the backer off that tape on one side 
and I'm going to line these up. I'm folding them back on each other so that I see that they're lined up in the same plane before I really stick that side down. And I'm lining them all up on that smaller side of the box. Now that they're all lined up, I'm going to stick them to the other side by just closing the box. So I can lay them all flat, just as you see here, pull off that backing strip, which was giving me a little trouble. <laughs> And then I can just close the small side of the box and it'll pick up that adhesive. And now I can pull off that longer one and finish my box. And I'm going to put this sentiment on that front. And this thing's going to get so full of flowers that I'm not going to tell that the stripe goes the wrong way really. So I'm going to assemble my flowers here, and like I said, I cut out way more than I intend on using. I just took all the dies, because there's two sizes of each flower type, so every time I ran it through my die cut machine, I got four flowers, and I just cut out a whole bunch of colors. I initially thought I would do a mix of the daisies and the tulips, but I decided that I just wanted two daisies because like I said, my grandmother's turning 94 and I had cut out a nine and a four with the Finley's ABC's, excuse me, not ABC's, one, two, threes dies um, to put on these two big daisies here. So I double layered the daisies so you could see the numbers very well. And then those two big ones will just be in the center and I decided the rest would just be tulips. So I'm gonna continue to glue my flowers together. I decided to add a little bit of sparkle to the numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that then push those aside and continue with my flowers while that those stickles dry. And now that I've got all these tulips, I decided they needed just a slight bit of shimmer. So those numbers have a lot of glitter, and then this is just going to have a layer of clear Spectrum Noir glitter on it. And I just did it really quickly. So now it is time to fill this box with all these flowers. And this is actually kind of hard to do on camera. I tried to lay it down so you could see what I was doing, but it was sort of hard for me to see. So you're going to see me move this around just to whichever way is easiest for you. I was trying to make it to where you could see what I was doing. The tweezers didn't always work. I had to stick my hand in there. Just kind of got to do what works for you. And I'm putting some on the very back. I put those big ones on the back side of those panels that go in the middle of the box and then I put the little ones on the front. So even though they're on the same piece of paper in the same insert in the box, they actually look like one's in front of the other a little more. So the nine and the four, the daisies are going to go central on the, not the furthest one back, but the next to last panel. So I was just kind of holding them there to see where they fit and what the colors look like. And I'm going to continue to try to fill in with these tulips. I decided to go ahead and put these two big daisies in here. My stickles aren't quite dry. I'm trying not to touch them. They're heavier because they got a lot more paper on them. So they kept falling down on me here. So bear with me. I'm going to sit it upright so that they stick better. And the reason why I decided to go ahead and put these on, even though they're not dry, is one, I'm impatient, and two, I was afraid I would have trouble getting them in there if I kept filling in with the tulips in front of where they needed to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and get those in there. And now I won't touch those stickles so they can dry. So now I can kind of see my colors and where that nine and that four are going to be placed because I wanted to make sure that these tulips didn't cover it up too much. So now I know that that one in the front needs to go a little bit lower. So now I've got my little garden filled in here. 
and I have some tulips left over and I also felt that the sides of the box were a little blank so I put two on the back so that when that back flap is flipped up it looks even fuller and then on the sides I just cut off the stem below the leaves and I'm just going to put one each I just happen to have two of the same color left over so I'm putting that dark pink one there And then there is my finished pop-up box card for my 94-year-old grandmother. I really hope she likes it. So here's another look at that card. This is like the fullness of all those flowers. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.